welcome to Reading the Word with Luther for May 27th. Today I'd like to read to you from John, chapter 16, verse 13. When the Spirit of Truth comes, He will guide you into all the truth. For He will not speak on His own authority, but whatever He hears, He will speak, and He will declare to you the things that are to come. This is the Word of God. So about that verse, Luther writes, When the Holy Spirit comes, He will enlighten your hearts, so that you will understand all the truth, and will call to remembrance all things. But our doctors and highly learned men have made use of these words in a most frivolous manner, and said that it was necessary to have something more than the Scriptures. That one ought also to hear what the councils and the Pope decree. They endeavor to prove in this way that Christ says, because he has not told them all things, it follows that he told them to the councils, popes, and bishops. Now, look at these fools, what they say. To whom does Christ speak? Without doubt, he speaks to the apostles. Therefore, if Christ is not to lie, his word must have been fulfilled at the time that the Holy Spirit came. The Holy Spirit must have said everything to the apostles and accomplished everything that the Lord here refers to, and, of course, led them into all the truth. Christ gives to understand that soon the Holy Spirit would tell and explain to them all things, and that afterwards the apostles should carry out everything, and through them should be made known to the world what they have learned from the Holy Spirit. But according to the councils and popes, it depends upon what they say, teach, and command, even to the end of the world. If what the councils teach be the truth, that one is to wear the tonsure and the cap and live a life of celibacy, then the apostles never came to the truth, since none of them ever entered a cloister, nor kept any of those foolish laws. Christ must have indeed betrayed us in this, when he said the Holy Spirit should guide us into all truth, when in reality he wished to teach us how we were to become priests and monks and to not eat meat on certain days and like foolish things. To hear such things is exasperating, and it should grieve our hearts to see how shamefully the people act against the precious word of God, and that they make the Holy Spirit a liar. Should not this single passage be powerful enough against the Pope and the councils, even if we had no other scriptures? I think so. The Holy Spirit has come and given us the truth that we need. Believe. Let's pray. Teach us from your word, Lord. Enlighten our hearts and our minds. Help us to understand your word and to receive it in faith, as it is written, for Christ's sake, in whose name we pray. Amen. Thanks for joining me today. I hope that tomorrow you'll be back with me again for reading the word with Luther.